Okay guys, so this is going to be uh, another stop that shows uh, sustainability construction practices. And here we are outside the back side of Landrum, a uh, nice glass walls, fairly new facility, really beautifully done. And um, in the redoing it, of it, they incorporated lots of sustainable building practices. Uh, this is an example of the purple pipe. And in this place, the purple pipe looks like it's not being real well taken care of, but uh, you know, because it's exposed. But um, it's a really great example of the type of stuff that is used in other areas of campus. And you can see that the color of the pipe is purple. And that's really the identifying factor that uh, tells you that this is reclaimed water. So these pipes are containing water that has been um, caught from uh, going into storm drain. So there's a, um, a large tank that's called a cistern that's containing water that is from um, uh, washing of dishes probably and some other things where water has not uh, been in contact with any type of waste but is still not drinkable. So there are three types of water that you guys need to be aware of. One is called potable and potable is fresh drinkable water. It is the resource that we need so desperately to conserve. Another is gray water. Gray water is a water that has had food touch it, that has been involved in cleaning such as um, laundry maybe, um, other types of water use that uh, make it not suitable to drink but they can be used for irrigation primarily. And then we have black water and black water is water that has been in contact with human or other type of wastes. So the gray water can be used for flushing toilets, um, irrigation and several other purposes we use water for, for washing other things as well. And then once it's used several times it can be put up into tanks to use for flushing toilets. So the more times we're able to use water, the less water we end up using that's drinkable. And we all want water to drink in the end, so it's obviously an important resource that everybody needs to conserve.